Okay, so now that we have the powder applied, um, we're gonna put the topper on. So the topper that I'm going to show you today is a Highline topper. Um, it was my first one and I ordered one immediately after I got the first one. I love them and I will show you both of them. So here's the one that I usually wear every day. She is gorgeous. She is a Lexi. Look at that balayage. My hair would have never been able to achieve this. I actually did change the part on this one and I uh, thinned it out. So um, if you get them and you put it on and it's really overwhelming and super dense, uh, you can find a hairstylist that can totally do this for you um, and make it a lot more realistic. So I was lucky, I got it out of the box. It was a middle part. I rocked the middle part for a couple of days. It wasn't me. We have a comb and clips here so this is a seven by seven and seven by seven means seven uh, inches this way seven inches this way so it's going to cover my entire crown which the more coverage the better so again you need to, if you use the powder you need to comb it through because it is tacky and it will get stuck so so what you want is basically okay so i'm going to leave this out and I'm going to flat iron my hair tomorrow um, to put this on because it my whole back is curly. So I like to look back. And it's going to take a couple of times. Okay. I like my pieces to go on super, super tight. So you just pull down and this these stretch. So I just pull down and clip. I actually had this one in a ponytail over the last couple of days because I've been really hot at work. So here I just bring my hair forward. And that's it. So if I wanted to put my hair back, I wear my hair, I've been wearing my hair like this for years. I can do like a little clip here. I can put clip here. I can do a cute, actually I could put this whole thing up because my hair is down here. And like I said, it's normally flat ironed. And have a little half up, half down. But most of the time, I've been wearing a bob for the past 15 years, so naturally I wanted to get something that is prevalent to how I look every day. I'm not a long hair person, I don't like it on me. Um, so I deal with the shorties. I love the short wigs. And this is the first time I've had any color dimension in my hair for 15 years. My hair is usually jet black um, or a really, really dark brown. When I was coloring, that's what it was. And you can use a flat iron, you can curl it. This is the finished. So it's very easy in the morning. And I'm ready to go. So now I'm going to show you how to take it off. So, unclipped, everything unclipped. Remember the comb is here, so I like to come forward and then come off. And there's my hair. And I put it on a wig stand, but for right now I'm gonna put it right here. Um, and now I'll show you my other one. So this is the first one that I got. This is what changed, this is, was a game changer for me. This one doesn't have any highlights, but I actually did curl this one and it's been curled forever. Same thing. Now, if I were gonna use this one, I would curl my hair a little bit, but not much. And I'm doing the same thing. This is a seven by seven. I'm gonna recurl her. Again, I can do the same thing. 
I actually didn't uh, alter this one at all. That's it. So I would have just curled that with a um, iron or something, but I don't really have to. This is my tousled hair. My bio hair could never hold a curl longer than two minutes. Absolutely not. Okay, so there is uh, my toppers and how I put them on, take them off, disguise, uh, conceal, and everything in between, and a little bit about my hair loss uh, journey. So I hope you like this video, and I can't wait to bring you some more videos. Have a great day.